Okay, here's the a picture of the octagon resting on its side, and it's got a height of 10 because the distance from this point, the side on which the octagon is resting, up to here is 10. I'm going from 0 to 10. So this point is halfway between 0 and 10, and it's like the center of the octagon. And if I picture drawing a segment from the center of the octagon to each two consecutive vertices, I'll get a central angle right here. And how do you find the measure of that central angle? Well, uh, it is a regular octagon, and if I drew in all of these segments, I would form eight congruent triangles. So there's 360 degrees to consume by eight congruent central angles. So eight into 360 is going to leave us a total of 45 degrees for each central angle. And that means that this apothem perpendicular to one of the sides will create an angle of 22.5 degrees right here. And if I happen to call this distance right here A, and this distance C, and we know that this distance is 5, I can use uh, some trigonometry to find the measure of both A and C for that matter. Uh, A will be 5 times the tangent of 22.5 because uh, if I call, well, this angle is 22.5. The tangent of 22.5 will equal A over 5. So 5 times tangent of 22.5 gives me the length of half of one side. And so here is 2A right here. That's the total length of one of the sides of the regular octagon. And just for the heck of it, I found C by uh, using 5 divided by the cosine of 22.5. And then I tested with the Pythagorean theorem to make sure that 5 squared plus A squared equals c squared. And indeed it does. So it looks like uh, this is your answer right here. Based on a being half of one of the sides. Okay, there you go.